Okay, I'm going to um, show you how to install a grip kit. I'm going to be putting it on a wing panel. These are the grip kits from um, fastkayak.com. They're a real thin foam with a uh, peel and stick background. Uh, first thing is where do you put it on here? Um, I am not a fan of oval shafts because I like having my, my um, indexing on my second set of knuckles and that's not 90 degrees. Now on, on some paddles with the right size hand the oval works great but for me I don't like that. So on my own personal paddle you can see my indexing here's 90 degrees and it's it's up here so I'm, I'm off. Uh, most people like it near 90 so I'm going to install this kit on 90. This grip, this grip kit that's on here is over four years old Occasionally the glue seam will um, start to lift and uh, about after a year and a half I had to pick it up, put some uh, contact cement, let it dry and push it down and it's been good ever since. Okay, the first thing you do is you tape off your shaft right where the grip kit's gonna finish. And I just have this taped off so that when I sand this, I don't hit any of that nice finish. It doesn't take much. Get all the glaze off of there and you can see that the shaft's a different size, different color than the rest. See it's lost some of its sheen. Then I take my my grip kit and I gotta get an edge off of here. There we go. Peeling this right off. And I like to start this right at 90. I'm going to start it at 90 degrees because we don't know who this paddle's for. You see how it starts off really nice. It's starting to attach. I'm going to take this tape off now so I don't go over it. Or I think I'm going to take it off. I use the blue tape, which comes should be coming off really nice and easy. There we go. Blue tape's off. Now I'm going to work. Just go forward and just keep working this back and forth. And as I get close, see how it's starting to, there's going to be an overlap. I'm going to take a screwdriver, and I'm actually, I'm going to fold this down so you can see it on the table. I'm going to take a screwdriver, and I'm going to hold this flat back so that I can get it to go all the way up until that edge just starts to kiss right there. And by doing that, I have a have a nice edge right there. Okay, so I have that on. I'm gonna squeeze a little more. I got this funny flap sticking up here. We take our razor blade carefully. I actually want to work this in a little better in this corner here. There we go. One more nice tight deal here. Take my razor blade. And then I have it. I have this cleaned up nice now. I have a little seam on the back which will act as an indexing for someone for buys this paddle. And I, I did a pretty clean job here. Normally there would be a little, little ridges and you can just take sandpaper and sand them smooth. I like to, on the edges, I also like to take 
some electrical tape and just really snug it down on the just on the top and bottom section there. One really nice thing about these grip kits is uh, I don't know if you've enter, ever entered a race and at the last minute put your sunscreen on, but uh, it, the paddle can be really slippery. And this grip kit will keep that from happening. One really important thing is this should only go on your right hand side, assuming you're right hand controlled. You don't want to put this on the left hand side because this foam can actually saw into your skin. So you, what you want is the grip kit on your control hand because it stays there and it gives it doesn't slip like like it would over here which is great for staying in your boat but if you put it on your left hand side and you're twisting back and forth you can actually saw into your skin so the grip kits only go on the right hand side one more piece of tape and i'll be done here of course you got to be coordinated Okay, there we go. So that's the grip kit installed. Didn't take much time at all. It'll make it a lot more comfortable, less tendonitis. You get a little bit of flex here. I still sprint with these, so it's, uh, you don't get that much flex. You just get a nice grip that doesn't slip. I like it a lot more than oval, and I love having a perfectly round left hand side so that it, it slips through my hand easy, no chafing. And uh, that's it. Cool. Okay. Where's the off button on this thing? There it is.